everybody, welcome back to Live Free and Tool. And if you have been following me, you know that I've been talking about the Ryobi New Link system. Now this is the wall system and it's the mobile storage system. I've been getting a lot of comments online saying that the Husky and the Heart is better than the Ryobi Link system for one big reason. Because they have the clear acrylic top bins organizers. Well, uh, Ryobi has not came out with that. I can only assume that they're going to come out with it. We just don't know where it's at yet. So today I'm going to be going over the similarities and the differences between these so maybe you can make a better informed decision if you're in the market for a mobile tool storage system. So stick around, let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, starting out, let's go ahead and check out the Husky. Now this comes in a three stack. So this is the top organizing bin. There's a middle, which is a bit, a little bit larger. And then there's a bottom, which is a larger bin with wheels so you can cart the whole thing around. Now, you can't buy this individually. This only comes in the three pack, so you have to buy this all. This is $89 for all three for the whole set. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside. You have two latches here. You can clearly see inside, and you have 10 bins total. Now, the 10 bins, let's go ahead and organize, or let's go ahead and measure here. The inside of this bin is four and a quarter inches by two and three quarters inches. Then you have another size bin. This is a little bit longer. This is eight and three quarter inches by two and three quarter inches there. So you can haul, you can organize a lot of screws, little things like that. In fact, I actually use this and I've had this for quite a while and I like this system because I use all my shirt making and all my HTV and everything and all the tools. That's what I keep in here. So it's an independent system. Uh, the dimensions of this total, let's say you didn't want to use the organizing bins and you just wanted to use the inside here. This is 18 and a half inches by nine and a half inches. And it's clear, you can see everything that's in there so you can just use this however you would like to use it. Now, how does this attach to the other bins? As you can see right here, this is a lever, you press it in, that locks over the next one, and then they interlock together. Now, this is, um, you can see that little hole? So all that is is just a little, a little rubber, I guess, mound that goes in here, and it just goes inside, so it does wear down over time. So over time, both of these latches will actually not lock in place because well, you're using them, you're causing a lot of friction, it's gonna break down, so something to keep in mind, that is, uh, in my mind, pretty disposable, and it doesn't look like you can replace this handle. This is a thick metal handle. So something to consider here. Now the top of it, it is pretty well protected around the side here. So even if you drop it, I think it's gonna be pretty resilient. The front of it does have a handle, no rope or over molding or anything like that. So pretty standard, but I do gotta say, I really do like this particular organizing bin it was cheap enough um, and if you're looking for compactness you know this is pretty compact as well and it has indentions here so it's not going to spill so give you a good example i can do this you know it's not going to spill it's not going to go anywhere so there's your overview of this. Let's move on to the heart. Okay, so visually looking at the heart, this is pretty appealing. I think that the design of this, the colors of it, it really does pop. You can see inside well, even on the outside here, it has the little um, designs in the acrylic. That's really nice. Now you do have two latches here, and these are pretty, pretty tough latches as well. Um, you can see that this is indented as well for the bends inside. You see the inside. Now, this is sold by itself for $20. Uh, you can get the entire three sets, so this would be the top one. There's a middle, bigger one that you can use for tools, and then there's a larger big bin with wheels on the bottom. And you can get that full set for $89, so this is a direct competitor for the Husky stuff. Now, how this latches into the next level, you can see right here. These click in, and they click out, but if you look, there's little divots kind of like where the little mounds are, so that is friction-based, but that will wear out over time. So you will be looking at this as more disposable, um, but it looks like you can replace these if you need to. This is a softer plastic than this, so you'll need to be able to get those at some point. Uh, taking a look just at the top of it, the acrylic casing, 
Um, I will say that this is not as resilient as the Husky for one big reason, because the acrylic goes over the side, and this is a, that's a pretty hard plastic. It's not soft, so it's not gonna be able to take an impact very well. So just be aware of that. Now, if we go to the inside, this also has 10 bins. And if we take these out, or at least try to take them all out, um, you can see this is a pretty big area, but it does have a divider, which limits, if you wanna put bigger tools in here, what you can actually put in here. Now, this is more of a pencil holder, which is pretty nice, but let's take a measurement of these bins. So this is three and three quarter inches long by three and a quarter inches wide. You do have another big bin here. Let's take a look at this. This is eight inches long by three and a quarter inches wide. So you can see what that is. Now the actual area inside, what's your clear distance? This is eight and a quarter inches uh, for the inside and it is 11 inches in depth. So that's what you can see from these. Now, that's a pretty huge direct competitor to Husky. I think the Husky's got the edge though because it can become a larger area in the middle, which is pretty nice. But if you close this, the middle, it actually doesn't go all the way to the top. So you would have things like little stuff going from each side. But if you put the bins in, These do stick up far enough to where it will keep it inside because this does indiv it inside of the bins itself. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to the Ryobi. Okay, so starting out with the Ryobi, let's look at the latches. These are pretty heavy duty. They're large latches as well. And this is made out of softer plastic. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get the obvious out of the way. This is much larger than the other two competitors that we're talking about. And the latching system for this as you can see, this is not a friction-based mounting system as you would, you know, that's that's gonna wear and tear. This is a mechanical fastening system. Let's take a look at the bottom. You actually set the next one right down on top of this. And if we look right here, you can see it has teeth. These are built off of springs inside that goes around the links themselves, locks in place. This is not something that's gonna wear out the same. You're not going to have to worry about you know wear and tear on side of that if we look at the inside now this actually doesn't come with these i created these uh and i wanted an organization system in here that would not spill so i designed it i built it and it works out fantastic in fact it does not spill at all this is not an advertisement but if you are interested in this go ahead and check out the link below so this bin actually comes with these two right here now how these are supposed to lock in place if you can see the bottom is these little bitty diamonds here and on the bottom you got little triangles and they're supposed to lock in place and when you close it it's supposed to lock them down that does not happen they do move there's a lot of flexibility in this and then plus even if you do close it you can see the back this is more of a skeleton base and you can see there's all those divots and if you have screws like this and you close it well they jump up into these divots and they just fly everywhere so it's really impractical if you're looking for bin organization straight off the market but i don't think that's what ryobi was actually looking for because this is quite a bit bigger and um, it's got some more depth on it too so with that being said let's take some measurements of the inside So if we look at the inside, this is 20 inches long. And it's 14 and a quarter inches wide. And it's clear inside, so you have a lot of room for tool storage and things like that. Um, now you do have these bins here, and I'll just show you what the dimensions of these bins are. So the inside of this is four and a quarter inches by, yeah, it's right around four and a quarter inches. If we take a look at this one, this is eight and three quarters inches long by like the other one was right around four and a quarter inches. So, uh, but 
these do latch onto a wall so you can use these on the wall system and on some of the other bigger bins uh, that comes with this it can latch into the side now let's talk about price for this so this alone is $40 um, and the full set if you get this one this is the top bin this is the smallest bin it has a middle bin and a larger big bin on the bottom which has wheels on it that's going to cost you $180 so it is quite a bit more than the other two but what I think Ryobi's going for is that full system so this can lock onto the wall system this locks in integrated with each other um, this does a bit more and the resiliency of this the plastics are a lot better they're a little bit more malleable so if you drop it it's not going to break the same now I can only imagine they're going to come out with the acrylic tops and then the organizer we just haven't seen it yet so it would be really nice to see what that looks like now what I would like to see Ryobi if you're listening is that we keep the rubber outside and then you do an insert somehow on the inside and then we could see everything so maybe you just lock on the outside you keep this for the organizer bins on the inside that allows you to keep that protection on the outside and still be able to use the inside as well to see what you actually have and to keep your bins down now another feature of this this does have a rubber gasket right here uh, because this is ip rated uh, so that's really going to help people for water resistance the other two bins do not have any gaskets so you're not really going to have any water you know resistance on those it's going to collect water and it's going to get inside in fact the top of this is actually designed you can see right here to shed the water so if this gets water it's going to shoot it off and it's graded that way as well so overall what do i think about the differences between these three well i think that the husky and the heart they're in a league of their own which they're directly competitors to each other so I think those two really match up. The price are exactly the same, $89 a piece for the three systems, or I'm sorry, for the three toolboxes that stack and they roll around. So I think these two deserve to be in the same category. Now, if we look at the Ryobi Link system, this is a different category. The size is much larger, it's much more rugged, it has water resistance. So I think they're targeting the semi-professional, moving into professional, and even professionals, and some of the more serious homeowners or house flippers. You're going to haul a lot more. You're going to do a lot more with Ryobi. With that being said, I really think they should have an organization system. Um, and I hope that they get those bins and they, they get that out pretty soon because people really want it. Otherwise, you're going to leave people like me to try and design certain solutions uh, to help people out until that time actually comes. But I hope that this gave you all a little bit of an overview and maybe some of the differences because there are big differences. You're not going to be able to store as much in the Husky or the Heart as you would be able to store in the Ryobi. That size is just a huge thing. So if you think you're going to haul, you know, a couple big drills in here with some screws and stuff like that, yeah, that's not going to happen. You really need to have the link system in order to do that. But if you're looking for organization just to keep your screws and stuff in and to keep them separated, well... You know, you really should look at this, but if you're looking at hauling tools at the same time, this is not going to work for you, unless you're going to do ones and twosies, but if you're going to do that volume, it's just not there. Uh, so, anyways, I hope that this helped you. If it did, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.